Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and I'm coming at you today with a video on a stereo music player uh, for places of business. We're talking about restaurants, bars, clubs, marinas, places like that, even a retail uh, environment. You are supposed to be playing licensed music in those types of environments, not, not the radio. <laughs> Um, so these devices give you playlists um, that you create uh, without commercials that you can play um, for the entertainment of your guests okay um, we have a client uh, that is a restaurant owner that reached out to us and said hey you know can you come up with a music solution for us uh, we want to play music in the restaurant we have nothing now uh, we want a commercial grade system um, and this is what we use you can use XM radio uh, for business that's popular I prefer FEC Music Player, okay? Um, this hooks to the internet. There's a keyboard and monitor that comes with it. We'll cover that in a minute. Um, you hook it to some nice speakers like Polk Audio speakers with an amplifier, uh, and it's beautiful music. It's a great video. We're gonna cover everything right now. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. What do you say? Before we start, there is a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified when we upload uh, future content. Also like the video if it's useful to you and as always leave comments uh, and questions. A lot of this content uh, that we publish is from our subscribers and questions they have employing solutions. Okay, so let's unbox this sucker. All right, so let's open this guy up. Uh, inside you will have a instruction manual okay um, you can set that to the side um, you'll have a cue uh, keyboard for the terminal okay some cat6 cable ethernet cable to plug the terminal into your internet um, we've got some audio video cables here um, that will convert the output um, of this unit, uh, which is an RCA plug, um, to audio video jacks um, that can go to the amp. Okay, so you want to save all of these plugs. Um, we have a mouse for the terminal. We have a display port adapter um, if you need to convert uh, the video feed from uh, the terminal to your monitor. Okay. Um, from HDMI to VGA. So it pretty much comes with everything you need. This is the FEC player, okay? So we certainly need that guy. And we also have um, the supplied power supply uh, for the terminal, for the player, okay? So those are the components that you should receive in the box. All right, folks, there will be links in the description to this video for all of this equipment, okay? In our experience, these are the best speakers for a interior uh, location, such as a bar or restaurant. They are Polk Audio MC60 uh, ceiling mount speakers, okay? So we will unbox this. Again, it comes with instructions. It will also come with a template. Okay, this template is what you will use to trace on your roof with a pencil. Um, and you'll have to cut that out, okay? I use a sawzall, but you do have to cut a, root, a hole in the roof um, for the speaker to mount or wall, wherever you want to put it, okay? It's a professional installation. So you don't want to throw this away. That's what this is. This is the cut template, okay? We will take the speaker out. These Polk Audio MC60s are very, very cool. Um, get them out of the back. You will see a couple of things. All right. What we have here is the speaker itself. Okay. Um, on the back, you will see the red and black inputs for your speaker wire. That will run to the amplifier okay you will also see these screws okay so what happens is you cut the hole 
and the ceiling with this template. The inside portion, the inside diameter, all of this will fit up into the ceiling, okay? All of this will fit into the ceiling. And all that's going to be exposed is this, okay? Um, so once it's in the ceiling, there are Phillips head screws here, okay, that you will tighten. When you tighten them, they will move these clamps like this, okay? They'll open them up. See how when you screw it, they open. Okay, that is what will suspend this in your ceiling, okay? So you'll want, once the speaker is in place, and again, this video is not on speaker installation. We're just trying to cover everything in detail for you. Once you screw in these screws, um, that will happen. This will be secure, um, and then you will take the, um, the speaker cover um, and put that into place, okay? Just like so. And you end up with a nice, sharp-looking, finished product. Okay, so what we'll do now, we will unbox the amplifier. Okay, so we have our speaker. Um, the amps that we love are very cost effective. Again, there's links for all of this product in the description of the video. This is a Pile PTA4 amp. Okay, a very cool amp for this type of setup. Unbox this guy. inside this model although we are not going to use it um, is Bluetooth capable that is what this antenna is for um, but what you will see clearly in the back here okay we have uh, auxiliary input for speakers Okay, so this input is going to be the input from our media player. Okay, the outputs here will go to our speakers. Okay, once that's done, we will be able to control the volume and the bass and the treble and all of that um, through this amplifier. If you were to hook the speaker directly to the media player, um, the music would not be loud enough to hear in the restaurant, okay? With speakers, a professional grade system like this, you need to use an amplifier, okay? If you remember back in the day when you were a kid and hooked up a stereo system in your car, what did you have? You had an amp to pump out that bass in the car. You want the same thing with a commercial grade audio system in your restaurant, okay? All right, we have unboxed this bad boy uh, and we're gonna hook everything up, okay? If you've hooked the computer up, uh, it's pretty much the same type of thing. There are USB plugs um, for everything. Okay, so we're gonna take the keyboard and we're gonna plug it into one of those USB ports, okay? Just like so. We're gonna do the same thing with our mouse, right? We need to control the unit with a mouse. So we're gonna plug that into a USB port, okay? It doesn't matter which USB port you use, they're not labeled, okay? Just find a USB port and plug it in, okay? Of course, the internet cable, that will plug into the ethernet jack. The other end will plug into your modem or router, whatever you have for active internet, okay? Now we have um, the audio splitter, okay? This is the cable with the audio plug, um, and it gives you the outbound uh, plugs for your amp. So these are going to actually plug in the front. Right here you will see this green circle. That's audio out. So we're going to plug that into that. These two plugs again, they will plug into the input of the amplifier, right? Right here we say auxiliary one input. So we're going to go white to white, red to red. So this amplifier um, is taking the audio signal from the player, uh, taking the input here, it's gonna amplify, amplify the sound and output to the speaker through these wires. Okay, we'll cover that speaker hookup in a minute. Okay. The power supply, okay, you wanna use to provide a power supply for the player. There's a plug right here that will plug in 
the unit, you'll see on the very end a little port with a power plug. Okay, this will plug into there for your power. Okay, and the last thing we will do is hook up the converter um, for a monitor. Okay, this is only needed if your monitor is VGA. If you have an HDMI monitor, you do not need this. On the back of your player, okay, you will see there's a HDMI output right there. So if your TV, your monitor is HDMI, you just run a HDMI cable from this port to your TV and it'll work fine. Like I said, we have a VGA monitor, so we're gonna use this adapter. Okay, and what we can do is we can plug this in here and plug the VGA cable into here and it will work just fine, okay? So that is hooking up your player, okay? I'm going to plug this in and I am going to hook this to the internet uh, and we will pick up the video at the point where we're ready to hook up our speaker to the amp and we'll test this baby out. All right, so the last step is not that hard. Um, there is a red and black input uh, on your speaker. Red and black plug, you'll see them right here. There's black, there's red. You just press this and insert the speaker wire in there. Okay, you'll see me do that in a minute. There are a million different kinds of speaker wire. Um, you can get it at Home Depot. It's sometimes called 18-2 speaker wire. Um, but always there will be two different colored strains. It does not matter which one is used for red and which one is used for black, okay? What does matter is the color that goes to red on the speaker must match the color that goes to red on the amp, okay? It doesn't matter what color on the wire that is, if that makes sense. Um, so red to red, black to black, always, okay? So we're gonna head and do that with our wire. Again, we're just pressing this and putting the wire, just like that. And we're going to do the other end on the amp. Press the tab. Red to red, and black to black, okay? One thing I failed to mention, if you buy this particular amp and this speaker, um, I've already done it for you. When you purchase a speaker, you will want to make sure the amp output of the speaker or the watt output of the, of the amplifier does not exceed the watt input of the speaker. In other words, if this is a 20 watt speaker, we don't want an amp that's putting off 60 watts, right? We need a 60 watt speaker for a 60 watt amp, okay? Again, if you order this amp and this speaker uh, by the description uh, links in our video, you'll be all set, okay? This matches, um, but I did wanna mention that, okay? So now let's fire everything up and see what we get. Okay, so let's turn on our amp, okay? Um, right here you'll see the power switch. The other thing you wanna make certain of, whatever we are plugged into in the back, okay? You'll see here, it says auxiliary one, okay? I guess it's upside down for you, sorry about that. But auxiliary one, okay? That will have to match your input here, okay? So you don't wanna be on Bluetooth, you wanna be on auxiliary one, just like that, okay? Um, and there's your volume control. Now what we'll do is we will turn on the music, now that the amp is on, we'll turn on the music to the player and see what we get. All right, so we have our mouse here. Um, you can see when this starts, you will have um, your playlist. Um, let's pick, let's see. A Florida Georgia line, huh? Oh, Chris Stapleton, he's good. So you can double click on this, okay? And it will put him to the top. And then you just hit play, okay? It's loading. And we should hear music. And we do, coming from the speaker. I'll direct the speaker. I wanted to show you on the amp. Okay, that is where you will control the volume. Adjust your bass. Turn it up. 
turn down travel, that type of stuff. Every day can be a better day despite the challenge. And folks, that's how it works, okay? You can definitely do it yourself. Um, you can install sound in your restaurant. Um, again, this is not, this is covering the player. Um, the speaker installation would be another deal, um, but you can daisy chain these speakers together uh, with an amp. In other words, red and black from this speaker can go to red and black on another speaker, okay? If it's easier than home running wire, back to the end okay there is another output on the amp uh, for another speaker too that you could daisy chain to a four speaker okay and that's it that's how you do it hopefully you enjoyed the video we'll see you in the field